So you want to sell digital products on Etsy, but you're feeling intimidated and finding it hard to move forward because you're not really a graphic designer and maybe you don't have the technical skills to create complex designs, right? Maybe you've got the drive, but all the other digital product sellers seem to be creating these super complicated designs and you just don't know if you could compete. Well, if that's you, friend, I've got some good news for you because digital products don't have to be complex to be successful on Etsy. They just have to be sellable. In fact, there are several very very simple, basic, easy to create digital products that are absolutely rocking it on Etsy and bringing in thousands of dollars every single month. So today I'm spilling it all and sharing the top three basic digital products that will actually sell on Etsy, including why they're sellable, why they're simple, and how you can get started creating them today. So let's talk about our first product that is basic and simple to create, and this is digital art prints. So first, before we jump into how to actually create these, I wanna show you how I validate that this specific digital product is actually selling really well currently on the Etsy platform and has a ton of potential. So a great place to start with this is to go on Etsy and look at the predictive phrases. When you start typing something in the search bar, let's say digital, you'll see these little phrases that pop up for related keywords and keyword phrases that have recently and consistently been searched on the platform. So these are clues that all of these types of products that are listed here have a lot of potential. You can see on here quickly, we've got digital prints, digital download, a little further down, we've got digital art. And since I have the Sales Samurai Chrome extension installed, I can see these little blue numbers that give me an estimated search volume for that specific phrase. So if I look at digital art, I can see that Sales Samurai estimates this phrase is searched on Etsy over 37,000 times a month. I can also come over to Sales Samurai's website and use the keyword search tool to type in a keyword I'm thinking of, like digital prints, and see the estimated amount of monthly searches here as well. The terms digital art and digital prints both have really high Etsy search volume. And another great thing I can see here on Sales Samurai is Etsy most trending and Google most trending. These are keyword phrases and tags that are trending on Etsy and Google that are related to the keyword phrase that I typed in. So if I come down here, I can see some different specific styles like pop art, line art, and art deco. This clues me into the fact that there are several different styles I could create this in that are actually trending and being searched right now on Google. I love Sales Samurai for this and so many different features they offer Etsy sellers. And I think you would love it too. So if you've never tried Sales Samurai, you can try it out with my link in the description box below. That'll give you a free three-day trial. And if you use the code Kate20, you can get 20% off of your monthly subscription if you decide to continue using it beyond the free trial. So once I validated the monthly search volume, I like to do one other thing just to make sure that these types of the products indeed are selling consistently. So I'll come back over to Etsy and click on one of the keyword phrases that I'm thinking of. So I've clicked on digital art here and I look at the results that come up to see if there are any with the best seller badge in the top left corner of the thumbnail. You can see here that the term digital art has a lot of best seller and Etsy's pick badges. And I can even click through on some of these best selling listings and take a look at the listing itself. Another really great hint that this is a really popular listing is this little note here at the top above the price where it says in demand, four people have bought this in the last 24 hours. It's really helpful that Etsy puts this little note on certain listings that have been selling really well and really consistently to let us know how many times this has actually been purchased in the last day. So now that we've talked about why this type of digital product is sellable, let's talk about why it is basic and simple to create. The first reason is that you can create these types of digital art prints with elements that you don't have to create yourself from scratch. Let's say you wanted to create a piece of line art. You could come on a website like Creative Fabrica and search for for elements that fit that description. So I would type in line art and see all of the results for different digital line art elements that I could purchase to use in my wall art. I can click on one, purchase it and download it to use, making sure that I've got the commercial license, which here on Creative Fabrica, this one comes with a commercial license, which means I can use this in designs for products to sell. Some other great places to purchase these kind of elements are on Creative Market, Etsy itself, and you can even find them inside of Canva. You just wanna make sure, like I mentioned, that you're purchasing it with the commercial license that gives you the rights to use it, how you're intending to use it for your products to sell. Then once you've got your elements that you want to use, you can easily design your wall art inside of Canva, even with the Canva free account. You can bring your elements in and then add additional elements, photos, text, really whatever you'd like to create your design. And once you're ready, you can download in several different file types. So it's easy to just come to download and you could choose what file type you'd like to sell your wall art print as. So let's say you want a JPEG, you could choose that. You could also download this as a PNG 
or a PDF, all of which are popular choices for wall art prints. And you can even come to their magic switch option to change this into several different sizes with one click. All right, moving on to simple digital product type number two, which is holiday or event printables. This includes any type of digital product that can be printed out that's focused on or themed around a specific holiday or event. So let's take a look again at our Etsy predictive phrases. If we start typing in printable, we can see examples for both holidays and events coming up with printable birthday card, printable Christmas card, and even printable wedding sign bundles. So birthdays and Christmas would be considered holidays, a wedding would be an event, but all of these are different types of printable digital products. So let's say I want to search for a printable birthday card and see what comes up for that. I can see again, as before, there are many different listings with the bestseller badge. So I'm gonna click through on one of these and take a look at the listing itself. I've got my note up here saying, of course, this is in demand, four people have bought this in the last 24 hours. I can see the little bestseller badge here. And another really helpful thing I can do to validate that this is indeed a great product type is to come down to the reviews for this item and change where it says sort by suggested to sort by most recent. Then I can look at the most recent reviews that have come in for this product, mainly looking at the dates that they have come in. So we can see several here that have come in every few days for this product, telling me that this is selling on a consistent basis because I know that that not everyone who purchases this is going to leave a review. So the fact that this listing is getting consistent reviews left for it further validates for me that this is a sellable product. Now, this is also a really simple and easy product to create because I can simply come into Canva, create this as an eight and a half by 11 standard size. This is a great size to use for printable cards that I want to end up being a five by seven. So I can do this on an eight and a half by 11, and then my buyer can easily cut and fold it into a five by seven card. This makes the process for greeting cards specifically is super simple and easy because I'm not having to change and resize things. I can create it on the same size every single time and just change around my design elements. I can use the elements that I have sourced with my commercial license, add some text, and when I'm ready to download, of course, I have my download options again, where I can choose from the different file types and easily download this as the type of file I'd like to sell. All right, moving on to product type number three, which is business templates. So again, let's start with our Etsy predictive phrases. And I'm gonna start this time by typing in template. And when I take a look at the predictive phrases that are coming up for template related keywords, I can see that there are some that are more event focused like this templates wedding, but a lot of these are business focused. So I've got template bundle, templates Instagram, which could be used for business owners, templates, business cards. So I would then go ahead and click through on some of these that I'm interested in to take a look at the best sellers. So when I click through on templates, Instagram, I can validate that there are indeed several of these that are listed as best sellers, telling me that these sell consistently and are selling on a regular basis. And again, I can click through on one to further my research. This one says that 10 people have bought this specific listing in the last 24 hours, which is great. And again, I might come down to reviews for this item, sort by most recent. And I can see we've got October 16th, October 15th, October 14th, 13th. So we're getting a review on this left almost every day, which tells me this is a really popular item. So if I want to take this even a step further in figuring out why this one is so sellable and selling so well, I can click through on the pictures to get an idea of the different style elements and the content that's actually included. So we can see here, there's a wide variety of things that are included in this bundle. We've got Instagram posts, quotes, carousel stories, and highlights. So I'd say, first of all, I would want to take note that it seems like bundles with a lot of variety in this niche sell really well. And then I can take a look at the color scheme here. We've got a really neutral, light, and airy vibe with colors that feel really cohesive together. We've got font pairings that look really great together. We can see here that the fonts that are used are limited to only a couple and they're reused and cohesive throughout as well, making the whole set just work really well together. I can always come back to the different listings here and take a look at a few of the different bestsellers to get an idea of what is selling well in terms of fonts and colors and even graphic style and photo style to get some inspiration for what I might like to create. And the reason why this type of business template is so simple to create is because again, you can come to Canva and use just your Canva free plan to create your whole template. So let's say that you wanted to offer a whole bundle of square Instagram posts. You could start and create your first one and then click to add a page and continue just adding pages and creating your whole set in this one Canva project. You would design each of these as a separate post 
list. But since they're all here in the one project, you can then share, copy and paste your unique template link that Canva generates for you, and then use that link to share with your buyer. Once they click on that link, they'll be able to open their own unique copy of the template and edit it within their own Canva account so that your original never gets touched or changed. So all you have to do is literally create your template once and it can sell on repeat. The only thing you're actually delivering to the buyer is one single PDF document that has that template link embedded so that they know where to click to access the template. You can create that PDF document super easily inside of Canva as well and embed that link in your text with one easy click. You don't have to worry about different file sizes or file types. You just create the one PDF and deliver it. So like I said before, you don't have to be a master graphic designer and you don't have to have tons of technical skills to be able to create and sell digital products online. Complicated is not always best and simple sells really well when you have the right strategy and know which niches to focus on. Don't forget to take advantage of that three day free trial for sales samurai using the link in the description box below if you're interested in trying that out. And if you're wanting to take a deeper dive into how to actually create these kind of Canva templates, including grabbing your template link and embedding that in your PDF deliverable, then I have a whole tutorial on that as well. You can click or tap on the square on the screen right now to hop over and watch that video. Talk soon, friends. Thank you.